How's it going everybody? Datsudoi here and I have a question for you. Do you know what Dragon Ball Z is? You know the one, the show in which Goku, a Saiyan raised on Earth, has to defend his planet from numerous threats including other Saiyans, Frieza, and terrifying creatures like Majin Buu. Uh, well now I really hope that your answer to that question was yes because if not I spoiled the entire show for you. But what if that wasn't how the show actually went? In fact what if the show wasn't created by a human at all? What would Dragon Ball Z look like then? In today's video we are going to find out what exactly that looks like as I am going to leave it up to an AI to completely rewrite the Dragon Ball Z storyline. The way we're going to be attempting this today is through a game called AI Dungeon. This thing is actually an amazing piece of tech. It allows you to go through a completely AI generated almost dungeon sort of thing, but there is a way to activate your own custom scenario that allows you to go through a text-based adventure of almost anything you can imagine. Now the way we're going to bring this back to Dragon Ball is by making the main protagonist of our dungeon Goku and setting up the scenario for exactly where the show starts in Z. You know, on the island where Raditz comes in. Basically where the show really picks up. Now again, it's important to stress that AI Dungeon is really, really cool, but it's not magic. It's still a computer. It's still going to get stuff wildly wrong, but you can sort of steer it in the right direction. And you're going to see me attempt to do stuff like that in this video. But again, to be completely honest, the AI has more control than I do here. I'm just going to try to steer it the right way and react to whatever it throws at me. So without any more of an intro, let's go ahead and see how an AI would approach the story of Dragon Ball Z. All right, so now that we've broken down what we're going to go ahead and do, we're just going to enter six for a custom story. And now that we've done that, we get to write in our own prompts. Of course, I'm not going to really write in anything original. We're just going to go ahead and ease it into the Saiyan saga starting off when they're all on the island and Raditz appears from above. All right, so the prompt I wrote is, you are Goku. Along with your son Gohan, you have come to Kame House to meet up with your friends Bulma and Krillin. You are all enjoying a peaceful reunion when suddenly a mysterious figure approaches Kame House from above. Oh, wait, this is not my prompt. They added some in. He is dressed in black, but his face is completely masked. The man looks like he has some sort of machine gun on him, so you don't even try to shoot at him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> he came strapped? Come on, Raditz. Let's not be that way. All right, hello, everyone. All right, so it looks like Raditz has decided to say hello to everyone. He's also strapped at this point. Uh, so clearly, the most dangerous foe that our heroes have ever fought. We have to approach this situation carefully. I'm not shooting anyone. The man doesn't seem convinced. He starts walking towards you, but then stops and turns around. Ooh, okay. We're making small plot points happen. He's on the island now. He's not shooting anyone, uh, but he he's he's doing so. He's up to something. He's not telling the entire truth. Okay, I think the only th appropriate thing to do here is to ask why he came to Kame House. Because I'm here to help you and because I can? He says that he will be able to get rid of any threats to your life if you give him information about... Am I being interrogated? <laughs> is Raditz interrogating me? <laughs> All right, now. I'm going to go ahead and try to make the story think that Raditz is a threat to me and the friends. Uh, okay. So I'm saying, I'm not telling you anything about my friends. Your energy is unlike anything I've ever experienced. Don't worry, I won't hurt them. Well, well then, what are you doing here? Why didn't you just go to Planet Namek? Okay, the continuity is <laughs> completely broken at this point. We're not even three seconds into the Saiyan saga, and I've completely lost track of everything. I can tell that we need to restart this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with take two of the story, our prompt has changed a little bit. We are now a martial artist known as Goku, and together with your son Gohan, you've gone to an island to meet up with your friends Krillin and Bulma. Everything is going well until Raditz appears on the island. He's been training for this moment for years, but he's not prepared when he finally gets his chance. <laughs> Raditz is a little nervous about this. But yeah, the, basically the only things we changed is I took out Kame House. I figured that might have confused it for just a random island. And also I went ahead and let it know that Raditz is the guy coming here. <laughs> I figured giving him a name instead of a mysterious figure whose motives are unanswered uh, would be a little bit better. All right, because Raditz is uneasy, I'm going to go ahead and start it off. I'm going to get in front of Gohan and demand to know why Raditz is here. You charge forward at Raditz, who dodges your attack by jumping back. Okay, that's a bit extreme. This causes him to lose balance and fall into the water below. You quickly swim over to him and grab his hand before he can try. <laughs> Hey, this is actually kind of accurate to the show. If you haven't watched DBZ or just haven't in a while, Raditz, uh, because Goku is a very pure and naive person, uh, there are multiple times when he could beat Raditz, but then just uh, doesn't finish the job all the way. Uh, this leads to other things, but it's happening here. It didn't happen like this. Raditz, I, I assume, can swim, but Goku has saved him from drowning in the three feet water of Kame Island. <laughs> You say, don't worry, Raditz, I won't let you drown. No, no, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Raditz screams as you pull out his heart. It's still beating and it makes you feel... 
<laughs> what? Wait, why did I? <laughs> oh no! No, I killed the rat. It's in the first two seconds of the saga. No, this. How am I gonna get the snake? Way? Okay, there's only one way I can get the snake way now. Okay, let's just see if we can take the forgiveness path. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Raditz. That was definitely not intentional. I know, but I also know you're right. We must stop these Saiyans from destroying Earth. <laughs> The pair of you head off to the next island where Vegeta- Yes, the Saiyan Saga! Raditz is back, baby! We brought him back with the Dragon Balls. The forgiveness path is sick! Raditz and Goku teaming up to fight Vegeta. Nappa's not in the story, unfortunately. But instead of going with Piccolo, the AI has decided that Raditz is a main character. Yo, all right. I'm so stoked about this, dude. Of course, I got a high five Raditz in front of Vegeta. You run up to Raditz and give him a high five. He looks down at you confused before laughing. What, high fiving someone in front of everyone? Aw, oh, come on, Raditz. You know that's just that's just our brotherly bond, bro. <laughs> of course, there's a different reason for my high five. It was just a bit of distraction. While we're laughing, I quickly shoot a key blast at Vegeta. You fire a beam of light at Vegeta, which hits him directly in the chest, causing him to collapse. <laughs> The two of you look at each other and laugh. Yo, me and Raditz are done with the... <laughs> we're done with the Saiyan Saga. We took out Vegeta with our high five tactic. Vegeta was looking at us. I was like, hey, Raditz. Night. Okay. And I just, <laughs> I just shot Vegeta. <laughs> He's dead. So in summary, in our AI created world, the Saiyan Saga consisted of Goku protecting Gohan by ripping the heart of Raditz out, forcing Raditz to quite literally have a change of heart in which he realizes he wants to help his brother fight the Saiyans. The only Saiyan that shows up though is Vegeta, who is very quickly taken out by a single key blast. <laughs> I, it's it's still pretty funny to me. All right, let's go on to the Namek Saga. Not because I, I guess they don't really have a reason, but why not see what the Raditz and Goku brother team up can do over on Namek? That's why this time around our prompt is you are Goku. Along with your brother Raditz, you have successfully arrived on a planet known as Namek. Your greatest enemy, Frieza, has been defeating the locals of this planet and must be stopped. You are not sure what to expect when you arrive, but it isn't anything like what you expected. The planet is beautiful in many ways, but there is something about its surface that seems unnatural. But this is actually like weirdly good. Planet Namek was a, a very good looking planet, uh, but it had forever daytime. I, that was that was the one weird thing. But we have no time to inspect our environment. Me and Raditz look around to find Frieza. You see several people walking around, but none of them seem to recognize you. You can only assume they don't know who you are either. Who are you? One man asks. Hopefully this is a Namekian asking me this question, not Frieza's men. So I'm Goku. This is my brother Raditz. We're here to defeat Frieza. The man looks at you for a moment, then turns away from his computer screen and walks over to greet you. He doesn't look too happy though. <laughs> what do you want? He says. <laughs> The Namekians do not want our help. Once again, he's asked me what I wanted, so I'm going to state it clearly this time. I only want to defeat Frieza and get the Dragon Balls. He looks back at his screen and sighs. All right, all right, I'll tell you everything, he says. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're getting some information. This is important plot, so we're just going to go ahead and listen to what he has to say. After he tells you everything, you nod your head in agreement. I, I get to miss out on all the plot? Uh, yeah, maybe he just told us the directions. Well, we need to go into battle right now, he exclaims. Oh, he's coming too? As you walk over to Frieza, Raditz and yourself all begin to fight off the guards. They aren't very strong, but they're still there. As you approach him, he smiles at you and waves. A uh, very polite greeting. But I'm not here to make another friend out of an enemy. That's why I'm going to immediately start off with a combination attack. You charge up an energy blast, which... Oh, no. <laughs> You charge up an energy blast, which hits Frieza in the chest. He falls backwards and gasps, gasps for breath. We did it. We defeated him, Raditz says excitingly. But now I'm going to go ahead and add in a story beat. Frieza is not one to be taken lightly. Frieza gets up off the ground and begins to transform into his final form. His eyes glow red and he grows larger than life size. No, no, this cannot be happening, he screams out. It's oh, oh wait, <laughs> is, Frieza, is Frieza panicking? Before Frieza can transform, me and Raditz need to stop him. I say, Raditz, we have to stop Frieza right now. Raditz nods and runs towards Frieza. Wait, you shout. Don't just stand there. Run over to him. But how, Raditz? At okay, so Raditz is very confused. Raditz is panicking. I got to go ahead and jump in here. I'm throwing another combination attack. I'm going in, Raditz. You hit Frieza with another risky attack. You quickly fire a beam of light at Frieza, which causes him to fall down to the ground. That was stupid, he yells as he stands up. Oh, it didn't even hurt him this time. His final form is too strong. Frieza begins to shoot out multiple energy beams that are all insanely strong. No, 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 he cries out. Wow, I think Frieza's own energy is hurting him here. Raditz is hit by Frieza, and he begins to fade away. You see Raditz slowly fading away before your eyes. Oh no, you cry out. 
Frieza fires a deadly energy wave that destroys the entire island and kills everyone on it. Wow, Frieza just did all of that in front of me? You messed up now, Frieza. I transform into a Super Saiyan out of rage. You unleash a burst of ki that knocks Frieza back several feet. Ah, he cries out as he tries to regain his footing. Yo, Frieza is so dead. <laughs> <laughs> he is so dead. He's been blown back by every attack. This is about to destroy him. <laughs> you say, Ka me ha me ha. You roar as you unleash a powerful punch that sends Frieza flying. He lands hard on the ground and begins to twitch violently. He's not getting up, you yell out. What? <laughs> Freeze is just on the ground in seething pain after I hit him like that. <laughs> That's fine though. This is almost exactly like the actual story in a way. So now as Goku, I'm going to run over to Frieza and give him a little bit of my own energy. You grab onto Frieza and begin to channel your energy through him. How much do you need? He asked. Enough. I begin to fly away from Frieza as I've decided to spare his life. Frieza then decides that I must die by his hand and attempts to hit me with a beam of energy. No, I scream in pain as I attempt to block the attack. Haha, good one, kid, Frieza laughs as he shoots a blast of dark energy at me. I, you say, you fool, Frieza! With an incredible amount of concentration, I block the attack and follow up with a powerful kick to Frieza's face. Wow, got him! <laughs> Frieza's head is knocked clean off his body and falls to the ground. Well, looks like I won't be able to use my new Super Saiyan form anymore, Frieza says as he... Frieza's still alive? All right, that's it. I'm, I'm being direct. <laughs> I'm being direct. Frieza, you kill Frieza. You charge up and strike Frieza with a powerful punch. Kill him, you shout as you begin to glow red hot. You swing your fist at Frieza who dodges it. He, he's coming back. He's going to beat me. <laughs> How is he beating me without a head? You start a desperate fist fight with Frieza. You charge forward and land a solid punch to Frieza's face. Ah, he screams out as his nose is broken. <laughs> You kill Frieza. You quickly finish off Frieza by smashing his skull in with a final blow. Yippee! That was fun! Frieza shouts as he stands up. Stay down! Okay, at this point, I gotta roll with what the story is giving me, so I'm just going to work in some of the Dragon Ball lore here. You realize at this point, Frieza has obtained immortality through some means. Frieza continues to attack you. So how about it? Are we going to continue this or not? Frieza asks. No, I'm not finished yet. We still have more work to do, you reply. All right, maybe... This is where I start charging the spirit bomb. This is it. This is the final technique. This has to end the Frieza saga. You begin the spirit bomb attack. You ask all of the living things in the world to lend you their energy for one final attack. Let's get this party started, you exclaim as you release a massive explosion that causes everyone to feel it. Everyone feels the energy around them increase dramatically and they can sense everything within a certain area. Wow, this is having a weird effect on them. You throw the spirit bomb at Frieza. It explodes harmlessly against his armor. What an impressive display of power, but I think you overestimate yourself, Frieza remarks. All right, guys, at this point, I gotta be honest, I don't know how we're beating Frieza. I don't know how we're beating Frieza. I've knocked his head off clean. Oh, oh, Raditz's body is still in the area and he's strapped. If a spirit bomb couldn't do it, maybe my brother's machine gun will. I take Raditz's machine gun and use it on Frieza, killing him once and for all. The end. <laughs> What a beautiful story, yay! And with that, we have officially seen what both the Saiyan Saga and the Namek Saga would look like if it was written by an AI and there was an extra idiot controlling one of the characters. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, let me know down below. I would love to do this again, honestly. I had a blast with it, but I'd only do that if you guys really want to see it. If you did enjoy it though, let me know your favorite moment in the comments, as well as leaving a like and subscribing to the channel to stay up to date on all of our normal-ish videos and maybe a odd one like this every now and again. I have been Dr. Doya. Thank you so much for watching this one all the way to the end and I will see you in the next video.